Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to generate a Let's Encrypt certificate and how to assign it to the um, Synology packages. So we're going to see how to generate a certificate. The certificate will ensure um, that we are going to be able to authenticate the server on which we are going to connect. So the certificate subject field uh, should be the same, must be the same, than the URL that we are going to type in the browser. A certificate will also ensure, help to ensure data integrity and data confidentiality. So the certificate must be signed by a trusted certification authority, and here it's going to be Let's Encrypt, in order to avoid certificate error messages in browsers, also to validate um, the server authenticity because a trusted entity has signed the certificate. Now that's Let's Encrypt in this case. And also to ensure the possibility that in case of a problem with a certificate, um, that we can uh, revoke uh, the certificate. And we're going to see how to assign the certificate to the packages. And we're going to make some tests with the mail uh, package and the drive package. So in terms of architecture, actually in this video, it's going to be pretty simple. So we're going to have our OVH provider, which um, hosts my domain and uh, also the DNS for my, for my domain. So we are only going to have one simple DNS type A recall, which, gonna be, which is going to be lab01.ovh, which will give us this IP address. And with the Sophos box, we only are going to use it for the network address translation. And on the NAS, we're going to use it, of course, to generate the certificate, to assign the certificate, and also to configure the firewall rules. So usually when you are going to ask for a certificate, the NAS is going to ask uh, to make a request to the Let's Encrypt uh, servers. And then the Let's Encrypt server is going to initiate a connection to your NAS. And this is to be sure that you are the owner of the domain and you are indeed uh, the one that asked for the certificate. And you need to have either the port TCP80 or TCP443 opened on the NAS. Usually it's one of them. And in my case, I'm only using the port 80 that I leave open for the Let's Encrypt certificate, um, you know, renewal, generation, etc. And then we are going to log to our applications um, with this fully qualified domain name. It's going to be lab, HTTPS lab01.ovh and we have the 8016 port and the 8020 port, so for the mail application and the drive application. And here we're going to have, well, the same ports. So in terms of the setup, it's going to be pretty easy in this case. So we're going to have one domain with uh, OVH on which we have the dynamic DNS. So here you just have the entry, just to show you guys. We're going to have the two packages, mail on port 8060 and drive on port 8020. 8020 and those are the addresses that we'll enter in our browser. We're going to have three NAT rules on Sophos and three firewall rules on the NAS for those services. And of course, in this very simple setup, you can only differentiate the packages by their ports. If, for example, you would like to say that uh, you would like to have an entry which is called mail.labo1.ovh, or drive.lab01.ovh without having to specify the ports. This is possible, but not in this simple case, okay? I'm going to make this for you guys in my next video where we are going to use the Synology NAS reverse proxy and assign the certificate to the fully qualified domain names uh, so you can have different FQDNs uh, if necessary. So. In terms of uh, setup for the external access, so we just have our uh, OVH dynamic DNS provider for this host name for this external address. So just we don't care about this failed, it's not really important. 
Now, in terms of, um, well, to, to, to ask for the certificate, we need to be sure that we have the uh, port 80 um, opened and natted for the NAS. So on the Synology, uh, sorry, on the Sophos box, or like in your home router, for example, uh, you're gonna have to have three NAT rules. One which will say that from any kind of source on the internet, uh, no, not this one, sorry, guys. Uh, the, the last one, uh, any kind of traffic from the internet, which is trying to access my uh, internet address with the port HTTP, with the service HTTP on the port 80, it has to be redirected to the NAS on the port, on the service HTTP on the port 80. So this is the only NAT rule that you need um, to, to generate, to ask for a certificate. Now for the other, for the, for the next thing that we're gonna see, those are the NAT rules also. So it's exactly the same thing. We just have the services, the ports that have changed. So this one is for the mail and this one is for the drive. As said before, you cannot, the only way to differentiate the services is gonna be to, uh, to use different ports. So as you can see in the uh, application portal, which also you have to, to set everything up, gonna see here that for the HTTPS port for the Synology drive it's the port uh, it's the port sorry it just opened it's the port 8020 and for the mail plus it's gonna be the 8016 so everything here is configured now for the firewall that has to be configured also so we're just gonna go into the security tab go to the firewall gonna edit the the rules and there we're gonna have the rule that I have prepared for this lab. So we're gonna have for the destination port of TCP 80, 8016 and 8020. So let's encrypt mail and drive. I do not care about the source IP, so it's gonna be from the entire world. I'm going to allow the traffic. So let's activate this rule. And then let's see if we have to, normally we don't have to apply, but you know, let's do it for the sake of the exercise. And now we can go and ask for our certificate. And the certificate is uh, in the certificate tab. We are going to add a certificate, add a new certificate, get a certificate from Let's Encrypt. So it can be signed by a trusted certification authority. And for the domain name, it's gonna be lado1.ovh. I'm going uh, to put uh, test at lab1.ovh for email address. And this is extremely important. You need to put here the, uh, once again, in the subject alternative name, the uh, domain name, because otherwise you're gonna have a problem with the Chrome browser and probably with other browser in the future, in other browsers. So you have to specify the subject at alternative name here. If you have other domains, you can also put, you know, a, I think this character and put other domains. But for, for this exercise, we just need this. So let's make a test and see if we have, um, if we get our certificate from the 10 grid. Let's cross our fingers because I have not tested the process yet. Come on, and that's perfect, now we have it. Now we've got to set up our certificate to the um, service. So we're gonna have to uh, check for the, uh, where is it? Um, the Synology uh, drive service. So I'm going to assign the labo1.ovh certificate. And also for the uh, mail client, I'm going to assign the lab1. Uh, certificate and I think this is it okay so now let's try I'm gonna use a different browser and let's try to connect to the service so 
let's go to https and we are gonna go to uh what is it um it's gonna be sorry it's gonna be lab01 dot ovh and we're gonna use the port 8016 And as you can see here, we have no error message. And I think if, I don't know if we can check the certificate here, we can see that it got signed by let's encrypt and we do not have any kind of error message. Now let's see for the other package. So it's gonna be the drive package on the port 8020. And here, as you can see, we have absolutely no problem uh, to access the package. So I think that's it for this video. If you have some questions, feel free to ask it to ask them in the comment. And if you like this video, please just give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to. Bye bye.